Hello everyone and welcome to My Hobby Home. My name is Kathy. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking and watching. Um, I have a little different setup going on uh, than what y'all are used to seeing. You will see my machine is turned sideways. I got my little ironing station over here. It's just a wool pressing mat with a towel over it. But I have some fabric here on my table that I needed to cut. And I thought, why not bring you guys along, let you see what I'm doing. Uh, first thing, I have three yards of white fabric here. I'm prepping this fabric for um, a project in the future. But let's just get into it. I have my Dripology ruler. Yes, Creative Grid Stripology Ruler here. I am going to be cutting. Now, I have my my three yards long, and then I folded it in half because the Stripology will not do with the fabric. So what I am doing here is I'm just going to start a... Let me get it on my line here. I do like to have it on a line just for a guide now i'm hoping all my fabrics are straight in there but you know how they come off a bolt sometimes they're not so i'm going to be doing six and a half by with the fabric strips i'm lining up down here because i do want to uh, cut off that end because it's not even and i'm going to scoot over here hopefully to cut all the way through there i'm thinking I did but I may not have let me just check and see seems like when I get further down to the or further to the top I, I don't quite get all the way through it but I'm going to line back up and I may I realize here I may have to quarter it because my strips aren't big enough to get a full line there but we're gonna try we're we are going to try here double checking here six and a half so guys i'm i was gonna bring you kind for it now i know i'm i'm holding wrong but you know what when i cut this way this is how i i hold it i'm sitting here i just lost my train of thought i got to get myself together i'm doing six and a half and then i'll do 13 And then I'll do 19 and a half. But I was going to bring you guys along for kind of like a day in the life. You know, kind of what I do in the, a day. I, I've been doing that more here lately. And I do not know why these are not cutting all the way through. And it seems like it's this one area. The same location. Well, this one did, except for that at the end. So now that I have those cut, I have to pull up more fabric here. I just have it laying down on the ground here because I don't have room for it all on my table. But I was going to bring you like a day in the life of a homemaker, pretty much, and just show you kind of what my day is like. But today, I started with a trip to do a donation and once i did my donation i did my my little shopping now i'm making sure i go all the way through here except i don't think i'm getting all the way down i may be getting all the way down there but i don't think i am at the starting point i know i'm not at the starting point so now i have six what i'm doing is i'm making 10 of these and i probably have more fabric out here than i need actually but i was going to show you guys you know kind of like what a day looks like for me it is friday so i'm recording this the day you see it but my day started off with doing a donation run and then I ended up going and doing some grocery, you know, picking up a few groceries because we have six, 70, not 60, we have 70 degree days right now and I'm sure that we're going to have another warm spell, but we have, um, Actually, this morning, 
when I headed to the grocery store, it was seven, 70 degrees, like on the dot. And y'all, it just felt so amazing outside. And it was funny to go to town and see all these people with long pants and long sleeves on. And I'm just sitting here thinking, it feels fabulous. I'm so excited it's getting cooler. But along with that comes, it's kind of dreary right now. We're getting a lot of rain. And which reminds me, I need to go cut my water irrigation thing off because it don't need to irrigate okay so that's nine i only need one more of these one more of six and a half boy i sure did cut way too much fabric out didn't i my mat was under my sewing machine so i was guesstimating how much i had but i do have some other strips that i need so maybe not maybe not but I think I'm going to fold what I have left in, in half again. But I went and got the stuff to make a um, cabbage roll soup. And I like it when it, the weather gets like this because, you know, you can make a soup and it not be, you know, too hot to fix it but the soup i found is actually a crock pot soup and i'm excited for it because i love cabbage soups um and a cabbage soup is something that people that won't eat cabbage will probably normally eat because the um cabbage you can't really taste in a soup the only flavor you get off the cabbage in a soup is a sweet taste. And you know, I only needed one of those and I just did three more. So I probably just messed up what I needed to do. Well, that's okay. I'm going to fold these in half because I need to do 16 two and a half by with the fabric. Yes, I, do. I have my 10 six and a half. So now I need to do 16 two and a half. I'm just going to sit it right here in the middle. Push my fabric up a little bit. Well, I got two. I got two strips out of my mess up. I may have to pull some more fabric, but that'll be okay if I do. This is what happens when I'm talking and not paying attention. But the weather is fabulous. But it is raining, so I probably look like a drowned rat right now. Um, I went and picked up my clue number nine of my country blessings by poppy cotton well so along that i'm doing so i still have block eight to do and i'll have block nine to do okay so this is all i have left of that three yards and I've got four cut, so I need to cut 12 more, two and a half by width of fabric. I'm going to fold this this way so I can look to see what I need to do. I'm certain I need to, um, and no, I did not starch my fabric. I, I normally press it before I get started, but not necessary i mean it's see what i can do here i can tell my fabric is kind of off i can tell my fabric is a little bit off but what i am going to do is do my best to um i guess square it up or whatever you're gonna call it even it out so i need two and a half inch strips okay so and using the stripology ruler it has like a uh symbol down here all the squares are two and a half inch all the stars are one and a half inch so as long as you just cut on the squares you're getting your two and a half inch no math required and that helps me because some days i can't math <laughs> go figure huh okay so let's see how that turned out okay i got eight two and a half here 
and I have four here, so I have 12. So I need four more. Let's hope we can get four more out of this. If not, I'll have to cut some more off that bolt. And I really don't want to do that. And I know I'm holding my cutter wrong, but that's the easiest way for me to hold it while I'm sitting down. Oh, y'all, I am only like half an inch shy. I'm going to have to cut a two and a half inch strip. Well, I guess I may not have to. I could do a small throw instead of a large throw, but the small throw is only a 42 by 54. That's just barely over... That's not even four feet across. No, I need one more. I need one more. But you know what? Right now, I'm not going to um, stress over not having that one more. Well, yes, I am. I'm going to stress. Let me get my bowl. I would definitely stress over not having that one two and a half inch strip so what i'm going to do here is just lay my bolt out get my fabric as smooth as i possibly can and i just flipped it the wrong way i had it the right way what i'm going to do is smooth it out line it up because I know that cut seam there is good because I'm the one that cut it. But I am going to make sure I am even on the line here. Okay, now I got my last two and a half inch strip there. I can roll this boat, bolt and get it out of the way. So now that I have this fabric cut, this is just kind of how I do when I'm, I'm going to start a new project. This is fabric that I'm cutting for um, National Sew a Jelly Roll Day. I do require some fabrics other than just, um, and I'm not done cutting these. I don't know what I'm thinking. Well, I may be done cutting these. One moment. I am not done cutting. So let me pull this out. I want to make sure to have everything cut before I start my National Sew a Jelly Roll project because um, if I have it cut, that means I could just sit here and sew with you guys. And the pattern I'm using is a, or going to be using, is a free pattern. But like I said, I'm just cutting right now, so I will share this pattern with you guys Um Let's see, next, it will probably be next week when I'll share which pattern I'm using because I don't want y'all getting ahead of yourself here. I want us to all be able to do it at the same time. Like I said, it is a free pattern that I w it was actually emailed to me, so you may need to be a subscribe to a newsletter to get it. And I'll look and see who the the person was that I'm subscribed to because it is a newsletter that I get it from. So now I need to make 66 and a half inch squares. So we'll go six and a half and then we'll go 13 and then we'll go 19 and a half. So out of the 10 strips, that should give us 60 six and a half inch squares for some reason they look longer that direction that's six and a half inch that one is six inches so these are only six inches wide that's not good I need to see if I cut all of them six inches because I'm pretty certain I could I thought I was doing six and a half this one is six and a half See, so y'all, I mess up so easy. It looks like I have maybe one that's, that one's six and a half. See, so I have that one that's only, I'm making sure, though, it's only that one. 
you need 10 six and a half by six and a half and that looked to have been the last one that i cut to and i bet what i did i cut it on 19 and not 19 and a half so i need to pull my bolt out and cut me another six and a half inch strip now this is real life this is exactly what happens when i cut so i can't use any of those and that is why i keep my fabric close by also and so you guys are only going to get an hour of <laughs> but i assure you this mayhem will probably go on because y'all saw me sit down y'all saw me start cutting um the only thing i did before i came on here with you guys was cut three yards off the bolt that was it oh and i was just about to cut this at two and a half inches i need six and a half inches and let me get this straightened out and so this is going to be a full six and a half inches my ruler is a full six and a half inches okay so now i have my last six and a half inch strip so now maybe i can get some squares cut <laughs> y'all i'm telling you this this don't happen all the time but it happens more frequently than I would like to admit. It really does. But, you know, that is all part of sewing. You make mistakes. You get up. And, you're, trust me, you're not the only one that makes mistakes. And if you don't make mistakes, I am so happy for you. I am impressed. But I'm sure you have many years of experience over me so i'm doing six and a half then i'll do 13 and 19 and a half that will give me my six six and a half inch block i knew when i looked at that that did not look square so <laughs> and if i do all 10 of them that will give me my 60 and I'm just going to put these in my project box back here. So when it does come day to do that, I will have this done. Now, no, I do not normally ever get my fabric cut this far in advance. But I have some other fabrics that I have to cut too. And I thought, well, this would be a simple easy cut that i could go on and get this one out of the way and it's proving to not to not be simple and easy in the least and i'm going to be starting that um cabbage roll soup here in a little bit i've got onions that i've got to process um i haven't decided if i'm going to put them in the freeze dryer and make onion powder i haven't decided if i'm just gonna cut and uh, freeze it because i do normally keep a couple freezer bags of un cut onions in my freezer just for cooking and i am almost out so i've got probably about nine pounds of onions right now that i can process now one let's see about three pounds of them um are a little bit older and some have already sprouted so i'm going to have to cut that out because we don't want to process that now that would be fine if i was doing powder but i don't i'm probably not gonna do any onion powder because i think i still have and yeah i got one section right here that i see was just cut funny it wasn't cut even which doesn't surprise me but i have um more okra that i need to pickle and i'm in the throes of pickling y'all right now i've got my water bath canner out i have an electric water bath canner so i don't take up my stove space um canning and i have i'm going to be going through my freezer here pretty soon and process you know getting the um i have some beef tallow in my freezer that i need to render down and process that and I haven't done that yet, so I, I need to do that pretty soon. I have, 
let's see, okra, beef tallow. I have beef bones that I need to make beef broth with. I have that. If I have a chicken, I may have a whole chicken in my my freezer. If I do, I'm going to make um I'm going to steam that chicken and then I'm going to dice that chicken up and freeze it for recipes and um the rest of it, the skins, the bones, and everything else. Um, I'm going to keep processing that down. I'll throw some onions and um, our onion tops because your your um, scraps of the onions when you're processing onions, you can keep that and throw it in. Even the skins of your onions, you can throw that in with your chicken bones. And you can make a uh, bone broth out of that. Just throw a little um, vinegar in there. But I am hoping to get some stuff out of my freezer. And I'm not... You know, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I'm just obviously not paying attention because that, that one ain't even a... That one is... I cut one wrong. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Eventually, I will quit doing this. I need to mark my uh, my things, so I quit doing it. Because I bet anything, I did this one on a six instead of a six and a half. So I got two more pieces that I need to cut out. That's fine. That's a brand new bolt of fabric there. I don't remember. It's 10 yards. It's fine if I do that. I'm just add what I'm doing is I'll be adding these into my uh, scrap bin to well I don't know I may actually cut these down I may cut these down to um, make squares out of them but it can always go in my scrap bin and go to a strip you know a string quilt or something like that it's where I need to pay attention but are are y'all going to be doing the National Soa Jelly Roll Day? Um, I, I am. And I will also be on a live that day. So y'all stay tuned for that. It's, it's not my live. I'm not doing the live. I am collaborating with another youtuber and i am so excited to collab with her because i watch um her lives maybe not when they're live but i watch the replays a lot of time and a lot of times i watch them like when i'm going to bed so i'm watching on my tv and not, you know, on my cell phone where I can comment or my computer where I can comment. I only get to catch a few lives and that's um, Saturday mornings. I can catch Sean, the guy who sews. And then um, like Thursday nights, I think, and Sunday nights. I think it's Thursday and Sunday night. But I think she has more lives than just that. I catch the um, the Siberian wind. She has lives and she quilts and they are so much fun. It's a lot of banter going on in the chat. Um, now for Tammy, she's at the Siberian wind. Most of her videos are lives. She does lives and shorts. Um, she doesn't do... I haven't seen any like video videos that she just puts out videos. But most of them are lives and shorts. And she does all kinds of quilts and stuff. So, one day, one day, one day I'll be there. I'm still learning, and I will say that this 
quilt that I'm doing here for um, National Sew a Jelly Roll Day that I'm cutting my fabric for. This will also be a first for me. I've never made one of these quilts. They're, I think they're beautiful. I see them everywhere. All kinds of patterns for them. So I'm hoping I didn't just cut that wrong. Nope, that looks pretty square. Instead of cutting that one more block, what I may do is piece two blocks together, do them like a um, half square triangle, maybe, and do it like a label block. That may be what I do, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I may just go on and cut a whole nother strip out. But you know what? I have this same color. I think it's this same color. I didn't put that back down here. I had a roll that was used up. And I just took... It, on, it didn't even have a full yard on it. Another bolt. And... I don't know why I just lifted that up, but since I did, I need to move that out of the way. And But this may be what I do. I may make a, um, a label. I don't know. I'll probably just pull another one out, or I'll see if that other fabric that I have is the same exact as this. And if it is, I can just cut a square out of it. Because this is... Um, I am preparing for National Sew a Jelly Roll Day today, cutting these strips. The Jelly Roll quilt that I will be making does take an additional three yards for, like, background. So, that's what I've been cutting here. National Sew a Jelly Roll Day is September 21st. Uh, that is on a Saturday. I will have a video release at 9 that morning, but I will be on live with another YouTuber also that morning. I'm not sure what time. I'll have to check my calendar again and get back with y'all on that. So, I know this isn't sewing, but it's a quick little let's cut some fabric kind of day. So, thank you guys for joining me. Um... We're perfectly imperfect here on this channel. Uh, if, it, if something doesn't go wrong, then something is wrong. There you go. <laughs> but I really do appreciate each and every one of you for joining me today. I appreciate each and every one of you choosing to click on that button and watch the videos. It really does help me out. It does help my channel grow. And it does help me bring more content to you also. If you have not yet, click that thumbs up button, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think. I do try to respond to each and every comment personally. And as always, until I see you again, I hope you have a very blessed day. Goodbye.